Welcome back to the channel. Did you know that your phone is constantly tracking your activity, monitoring which apps you use, what you type, and even what you search for on the internet? And here's something even more shocking. It could be listening to your conversations. These tracking features are enabled by default on every Android phone, draining your battery, slowing down your device, and collecting your data without you even realizing it. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In today's video, I'll show you how to disable three hidden settings that are quietly spying on you. Before we jump in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech tips to keep your devices fast and secure. All right, let's dive in. Step one, disable personalization using shared data. Your phone collects and shares your data with multiple apps to personalize your experience. But what it's really doing is spying on everything you do. Every time you open an app, browse the web, or type a message, your activity is being recorded and analyzed, all so companies can target you with ads and recommendations. Not only is this an invasion of your privacy, but it also drains your battery and slows down your phone. Here's how to turn it off. One, open settings on your phone. Two, scroll down and tap on Google. Three, select all services. Four, scroll down to privacy and security and tap on personalize using shared data. Five, you'll now see a list of apps that have access to your shared data. This can include messaging apps, social media, or even shopping apps. Six, simply turn off all the apps on this list. By doing this, you're stopping those apps from tracking your behavior. That means less data collection, fewer targeted ads, and better performance on your device. Step two, disable usage and diagnostics. Google is constantly tracking how you use your phone, which apps you open, how long you spend on them, and even when your phone crashes. All of this information is sent back to Google to improve their services. While that sounds useful, it actually means your phone is always running background processes to send this data, which slows down performance and drains your battery. Here's how you can turn it off. One, go back to the privacy and security section in your Google settings. Two, tap on usage and diagnostics. Three, you'll see an option to toggle it on or off. Simply switch it off. That's it. By disabling this, your phone will no longer send constant reports to Google. This reduces background activity, improves performance, extends battery life, and most importantly, keeps more of your data private. Step three, stop ads from tracking you. Have you ever talked about something near your phone only to see an ad for it minutes later? That's because Google uses your microphone and other data to serve you targeted ads. Your phone is constantly listening for keywords in your conversations and then using that information to tailor advertisements. For example, if you mention needing new running shoes, you might suddenly start seeing sneaker ads on social media or in your browser. Here's how to stop it. One, go back to settings and open Google. Two, tap on all services. Three, under the privacy and security section, select ads. Four, tap on reset advertising ID to erase all tracking data linked to your device. Confirm when prompted. Five, next, tap on Delete Advertising ID to permanently remove your unique ad tracking identifier. You may see an option to get new advertising ID, but avoid enabling it because that will simply create a new ID and allow personalized ads to continue. By disabling your advertising ID, you stop Google and third-party advertisers from serving targeted ads based on your browsing or conversations. This reduces the creepy listening ads and helps protect your privacy. And that's it. By disabling these three hidden settings, you will make your phone faster by reducing background processes, extend your battery life by preventing unnecessary data transmission, keep your personal data private by limiting how much information Google and other apps can collect about you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more privacy and tech tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.